Welcome back, everyone, to the desk here as we are closing it out for the day. But what a way to close it out. I couldn't agree more with ZP. That simply was the greatest match of Overwatch we have ever seen. And the biggest crowd, so many people watching online. I couldn't believe it. Top to bottom, that was just amazing. Did I hear ZP correct at the end of that? That was a semi, or that was a quarterfinal match. They're in the semifinals now. That was nuts. That should have been a grand final match. That, yeah. I, I totally, totally agree with you. It's very clear that both of these teams are just, they are so good right now. And, it, you know, it is unfortunate we don't get, get to see it again. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, though, uh, we, we have to talk about this South Korean roster that, you know, just doesn't say quit, but we have seen some, you know, damages in their shields, some some dents in the armor, if you will, Kilios. Yeah, we, we certainly have. This was definitely weaker than I was anticipating them to look. And a lot of that does go to the credit of Team USA, who put up one hell of a fight. They really did give it their all. Uh, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough to take down the juggernaut that is and has been Team Korea. Uh, but this is something that, you know, obviously the other teams waiting in the back are going to be watching. Uh, Team France is going to be looking to scout this out, find out where the weaknesses are in the armor of Team Korea, and then be able to attack them uh, to try to take them down. They said in their video, that is their goal. They said, we don't really care about winning the World Cup. We want to beat Team Korea. And honestly, if they can exploit the weaknesses that we saw, they might be able to do it, or at least get even closer than USA. Yeah, but then you talk about weaknesses, and I mean, <laughs> you look at Flower and Jameson Flower's gameplay was unbelievable and all I, I think I saw him visibly mad at times too. Mm -hmm. I mean he's still a young kid and he has all the pressure on the world in him right? The Koreans they weren't expected to drop a single map Jeez. but USA they bloodied them and taking a look at this Widow play. This is where Korea started to come alive. This is where I, I felt that Flower you know was really putting the team on his back and that's hard to say that one player on Team Korea is putting them on their back very true. I, I didn't feel, I felt like we had strong performances from Sebiobi and uh, as well as Flower. Uh, really, the whole team had a, had a moment, but it was Flower that was the guy that, that kept him going in that game with those plays, with those Widowmaker plays that USA just could not seem to find an answer to. Uh, Achilleos, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, Flower was kind of just the glue that held everything together here for Team Korea. There were some inconsistencies across the board from the, the members, and sometimes they weren't really playing cohesively, which is something that we were praising at the, you know, the start of this match that that was something to really look for uh, but they, they let it slip up a couple times but flower was really the one just sealing the deal over and over again for this squad to be able to take it the Widowmaker plays coming through there and then in on to watch point gibraltar just absolutely beautiful from him and again just affirming that he is one of the top if not the best dps players in the world so in i believe it was hanamore um mm. we saw the south korean team not opt for the Mercy pickup, which has been the meta in this recent patch. It's been the thing that everyone's been playing here. Um, we had talked about it, Siegel was up here as well, we were chatting with him, that perhaps that is, it, it just showed their comfort level. Like at this, at this moment, right, they mm -hmm. had to make a decision and that was what they went with, not with Mercy. What does that tell you? It showed their comfort level, but it was also one of the weaknesses that we saw in the team. There was one point on their second attack, it was coming down to the wire, where Jaehong, he was on that Ana, decided to swap off, and then swap back onto Ana. The point of that initial Ana pick was to be able to get that Nano up and then put it onto someone like Mono or someone like Flower, just to be able to get the picks. But it looked like there might have been some miscommunication that you can't allow at the top level to happen if you want to remain at the top. Yeah, and I believe I was just told by, by the team in the back, we have some reaction shots from the uh, South Koreans after they won their game. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at that. And uh, you, you we'll, uh, what did you? <laughs> we'll, we'll ignore one of the things yeah. that was stated in that. <laughs> okay, sure. I think that's for if the you best. Speak Korean, There's you'll a understand. reason there are no subtitles. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, then we'll moving on. Uh, so, Great at T for team. <laughs> Great at T for team. Um, all right, USA. Uh, do want to do want to talk about how much that team left out there? And if I'm being honest, it could have gone either way numerous times in the game. Achilles, I'll start with you. I mean, I'm sure you saw me, you know, watching this in, in the middle of the set when we weren't on camera, and I was visibly nervous. 
that South Korea actually could have lost it. It's some of those twists and turns. By the time that it went to Gibraltar, that's when it kind of really started moving back. But Hanamura, with how neck and neck it was, actually just ending in the tie. Uh, going into that fourth game, I really wasn't sure what to anticipate. And it, it, they really did give them a run for their money. I have to give so much credit to Team USA for their prep uh, and for their play here today, because it, it was absolutely stellar, especially from Jake, who played out of his mind his just, junk you know, over and over again. Uh, yeah. So very excellent job by him and by the team on the whole, but unfortunately, it's just not enough. Yeah. Now, we also do have uh, some stats, as a matter of fact, so let's just actually jump into it. Take a look at uh, what we have here. So first and foremost, we're going to start with Flower. I mean, this guy, he went on an absolute tear. So it, actually, the accuracy is pretty impressive. You, when you talk about a Fara, right, you're shooting rockets at someone, and, mm -hmm. and a lot of that, too, came in was an aerial dogfight as well between Jake and, and Flower. I mean, it just comes down to, even though he is quite young, he's 17 years old, he does actually have a fair amount of competitive experience. He knows how to play projectiles, he knows how to play hit scans because he's been playing those for years and it showed. We saw the Widowmaker, we saw the Farah being dominant on Oasis and that's basically the story yeah. of this entire and a, game. And another player too, we have uh, Sebiobi as well, superstar on this team with, dare I say, one heck of a haircut. Uh, and I mean, 13 kill streak for him in that Oasis game. Keep in mind, these are stats from the last game. So uh, only falling once is actually pretty impressive there as well, Achilles. Yeah, it was very uh, you know, excellent by Sebiobi. He was holding on to the recalls for the last you know, possible second, when, only when he really felt forced to use it to keep himself alive. Uh, it was just fantastically done by him, and this is what we've come to expect from him on this tracer. He is one of the best in the world, one of the best out of Korea uh, as well, who just keep, you know, they just keep pumping out talented tracer players, and they're all ending up in Overwatch League. <laughs> yeah, that's, ain't that the truth, man? Ain't that the truth? But when you want to see the best, the best, well, they'll make their way to where the best are currently at, and that is the Overwatch League. That being said, when you talk about the best, who's the best unlimited network? Oh, you guessed it, T-Mobile. Really good, nice tie-in. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give that. you a golf, golf clap, clap for that yeah. one. Golf clap, golf clap, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you so much to T-Mobile for supporting the 2017 Overwatch World Cup. Uh, you guys, you easy way for you all to vote. If you're into Twitch chat, use exclamation mark, and then T-Mobile MVP, battle tag of the player that you want to see. And then on the other side of that, if you're on Twitter, hashtag T-Mobile MVP, and then the battle tag as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the leaderboard though and see who's in the lead. I have a feeling we will be not surprised. So let's let's take a look when we get a second here. And it's XQC. Wow, okay. well, and Bart Sin Sinatra crazy. and Jake have uh, kind of come up a little bit here and I, I sort of expected this. Maybe not, you know, just the 10%. I think Jake, I thought he was going to be much higher yeah. uh, after that performance. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, he deserves the credit, but yeah. XQC <laughs> catching up to him is a pretty arduous <laughs> task right now. I, don't, I think the only person who would have beat XQC is Siegel. <laughs> I, think <laughs> probably, I think we need to do this per day. Yeah. So that somebody actually has a chance of overtaking XQC. Yeah. And we just make him ineligible for tomorrow. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take a look at the bracket here, folks. And just a reminder, we only did the quarterfinals today. So Sweden was able to overcome against the United Kingdom 3-0 to open up our broadcast here. Then we had a barn burner between Canada and Australia at 3-2, followed by France and China. That just was really an insane matchup. And then South Korea versus the United States. The score there actually ended up being 4-2-3. Four 4-2-2. To four to two. Four to two. There we go. Yeah. Thank you, James. You have my back. That's what <laughs> that's what partners in crime are for. So, uh, yeah, I mean, guys, this is it. Uh, Achilles, it was a pleasure to have you up here as well. I, even though, even though I felt like you all were like were against me here, you know, and and that and that hurt. Well, no, I'm, we're just I'm very sorry. If it makes you feel any better, I did come prepared just in case. I have an American too flag. late. I was ready for these guys to potentially take it so I could wave this one in the air, but uh, I just didn't really get the opportunity. I was a little worried. Give it to me. Give it I was to a me. little okay. worried will, there. Will, you know what? It's, uh, it's, I don't know how to do a flag folding. No, so you know you what? Go. You got to take it nice and messy you know and these, you know, just rubble These up. colors don't run, baby. <laughs> these colors don't run. That's frank. Anyway, that's going to do it for us here. Jameson, final thoughts for today. Just amazing Overwatch. I, I don't know how else to put it. I am definitely proud to be able to have been on this desk for it. I feel like it was a privilege for me to be here and watch such a display of incredible skill coming up from every single player throughout all of our matches today.
And Kelios, final thoughts? Well, I mean, I've been sitting here since we uh, kicked the day off, and it's been a very long one. I was sitting in the back watching every single game, chomping at the bit to get up on this desk. And I mean, the series really did uh, deliver on that for me. So I'm so happy with how things turned out. And I'm looking forward to coming back in for tomorrow, since we have a, you know, now a more extended day tomorrow to get those semifinals out. So I'll be here to track through with uh, Team Korea and yeah. tell you why they're going to win it all. Well, speaking of tomorrow, let's go ahead and let our viewers at home know, as well as for those of you guys in attendance here at BlizzCon, uh, the way it's going to work is very simple. Doors open at BlizzCon here at 9 o'clock. But that being said, our pre-show is going to start tomorrow at 9.20 a.m. First matchup will start at 9.30 a.m. So it's going to be a long day. I love you, too. I love you, too. It's going to be a long day of competitive Overwatch up ahead. The Overwatch World Cup, what we just witnessed here today, honestly, could be the new pinnacle, the new benchmark for what is competitive Overwatch, what is Overwatch Esports. But we are not done yet. No, no, no. We are not done because tomorrow we crown ourselves a champion. We'll see you then. Head for the kills. Now we have a series.
away, and South Korea, you're going to the semifinals. A valiant effort from the red, white, and blue USA team. They played so well all the way through the qualifiers. The team with maybe the best chance to take down South Korea gave it their best, came up just a little bit short, but there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's the best team in the world at this World Cup, South Korea, and the United States gave them all they could handle. They gave, they gave them all they could handle. They put on a show, but in the end, the experience of the South Korean team, the insane mechanical skill from players like Fortnite, <laughs>